Superstitions and myths. Yes, we are all prey to them, but are we superstitious because the stories have been drilled into our heads from childhood, or are there underlying truths to them? Are superstitions and myths to be dismissed as old wives' tales, or are there hints to help even the unsuperstitious lead better lives? And what about religion? Many people are skeptical because not everything that's taught about religion can be proved, yet many people live by it. Have superstitions and lucky charms changed your life? Have you ever came face to face with an angel, a Laja Bless or a Bullam? We're particularly interested in your stories. So stay with us and tell us on tonight's Dolor Factor Live. The views expressed in this program are those of the host and guest and in no way represent those of DBS and are not intended to determine decision-making processes. Dolor Factor Live is brought to you compliments of Lime, Organica, AF Falma, EC Global Insurance, Skin Science, Illumines, Rainforest Hideaway, Mango Beach Inn, Cars for Rent, MAC Cosmetics, Transit TV, Carpet Media, Prestige Auto Holding Limited, Ferrens Dairy, Sissons Infinity Color Shop, Star Publishing, Touch Therapies and La Mer Spas, and Trio's Caribbean Fusion Restaurant. Welcome to Delore Factor Live. I'm Delia Delore. Tonight we discuss myths and superstition and try to decipher why some people's beliefs are feared and ridiculed. One of my guests tonight provided me with a very interesting example which I'd like to share with you now. He asked me, why is it when someone sees the Virgin Mary, it's called an apparition? But if someone sees a uh, Mama Dio, which can be both seen as expressions of the feminine principle in nature, in whatever aspect, or a Sukuyan, it's called superstitious. That got me thinking, and I hope you'll help me. So together, we can answer that question tonight. But, before, but first, before we do so, let's go to housekeeping. Thank you to the teachers and students of Tapion School. The principal, Arlette Snack, was so welcoming. Good luck to grade six in their upcoming exams. And don't forget what I told you. Next week, I visit Ancillary and Canneries Primary School. And as we continue phase one of U Factor, where we encourage children to do their best. If you'd like us to visit your children's school and encourage them to build their self-esteem, let us know by using any of the contact information on the screen to contact us later in the week. Last week's giveaway recipients were extremely happy. I was so jealous of Jessica Melvin who won a bag full of Mac goodies. I met Jessica at the Mac store and I could not believe the number of items she received. It was just huge. Another great giveaway I witnessed was High Tide's Mother's Day brunch. The ambience, performances, food was fantastic. My dad had to assist my mom to stand up when it was time to leave. That's how great it was. A little bird told me that Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa will again be offering DFL viewers something really special from Trios Caribbean Fusion Restaurant or High Tide on Father's Day. So I'm giving you good advice. Take part. Lastly, on housekeeping, don't forget to support our last week's guest, Beverly John, and the Viewfort Children's Society and their anniversary dinner dance on Saturday, 9th June. Visit DeloreFactorLive.com for details on all housekeeping items. Tonight, we're talking about myths and superstitions, and I have two guests who will engage deeply and passionately with the subject matter. I'd like to welcome teacher and crew Lucian and a true solution, Ricky LaForce. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome, Nikriba, to Dual Factor Live. Yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. Right. And Ricky, welcome. We've spoken so many times in the past, rushing off and on. I know you're an avid Dual Factor fan, so it's really great to see you here tonight. It's actually a pleasure to be here, Delia. And I'm really looking forward to tonight because we've had our discussions uh, before we came on live, and I know, viewers, you are in for a treat. But you know, before we actually start talking about the subject, we have a couple of things we need to do. I need to ask our gentlemen about their ice cream, their Ferrens ice cream that they tasted before the program. And I have to say, I went a little bit overboard tonight because I really enjoyed the flavors tonight. Uh, my favorite was um, coffee and banana. I had not had the banana, believe it or not. In all the time I've been eating Ferrens ice cream, I just didn't get around to eating the banana. I really, really enjoyed it. Those are my favorites. But, um, and Chroma, you didn't have any, did you? No, I don't. Your reason? Yeah, my ice cream days were early. Uh, right now, I don't eat any uh, dairy, so. 
Okay, that's yeah. fair enough. Mm -hmm. That's a fair comment. Yeah. But Ricky, I mean, you should have seen what he started. <laughs> 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 what what, what um, was your thoughts of your ice cream? What flavors did you have? Well, the banana was nice. Mm -hmm. The vanilla mix. Yes. You had but I love the coffee. Yes. The richness of the coffee in it made me feel, I say, wow, this is, it's not bitter. Because sometimes when you think coffee, you feel a little bitterness. Mm -hmm. It was very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And then I must say, um, throughout the uh, years, I've seen Ferrans change their packaging, mm -hmm. which is more attractive now. Before, you see this clear container. But now with the white container, if all the, when, you go, when you go to the market, you say, hey, I thought it was a new company. But when I read, I saw Ferrans. And, and even the opening part of it, you know where the, the opening part is yes, now. Yes. So I find that was really innovative about Ferrans, mm -hmm. but I miss them being down in, in Mayfield in the uh, old days when you go buy your chalk ice, your creamsicle yes. and, and your little, the small ice cream, they used mm -hmm. to sell the small ice cream, give you little stuff, but the ice cream, has, the taste have stayed. Yes, and, and I think that we had some other flavours tonight which were really nice. We had yeah. the cherry vanilla. But this was, this that was, was nice. Really, that was really that nice. That was well. real nice. Yeah, yeah. But it the banana, I never had the banana before, but yes. it was, it was it, it, the flavours are still there, but they, you can see they're thinking. As mm -hmm. a company, mm -hmm. they're literally thinking and, uh, yes. and they're reaching out to we people. We had quite a few. We had the chocolates. Yeah. We had the chocolate cherry, we had cherry vanilla, yeah. we had Banana yeah. and, and but coffee. I love the I, I love the, the pistachio, yes. which you can taste the pistachio literally. Mm -hmm. So I but I was privileged to see their operation some time ago, mm -hmm. and I must say it's a nice terrain place and the, the staff are very professional. Okay, I lovely. must say the divos have done a, a, a wonder with them. I'm sure they're watching tonight. They'll be very <laughs> happy that you have seen that. It means everyone else has. But now let's go to our two in a row questions. Ricky, I'm going to come to you first. They say that school days are happy days. Would you revisit your school days if you had the opportunity? Yes, I would. I can imagine what <laughs> you were like when you were in school. No, no, we were in school. We were, we were fun. We, there were a group of us. I mean, we were like family. Mm -hmm. And I went to the SD Academy, I must say, and it was a nice, nice school. It was very religious, but it was nice. And my friends are still my friends. Ironically, were you troublesome at school? No, I was not. You were good. Your teacher's pet? Not teacher's pet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I looked out for my friends. Yeah. <laughs> we were, we, it was a. It wasn't like as big as St Mary's College, mm -hmm. but we were tight knit and education wise, the, the teachers were very good. So if I have to revisit it, I will. No, that's good. That's a nice thing to say. And you know what they say: when we get older, we always. We look back at our school days and we just don't appreciate the way that, you know, it should have been in those days, you know. We, in the days we thought, oh, but when we, we look back and we be adults, we think those were the happiest days of our lives, you know, when it comes to school. But most of us would say that anyway. Most, yeah. most of us. Um, and Krumah, what would you do if someone hit you at work? Would you call your boss, report it to the police, mm -hmm. or would you retaliate and hit them back? What, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do neither. What I would you some, do? Sometimes people forget themselves and you have to give them a stern reminder that they just getting a little too casual, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I wouldn't call the boss, mm -hmm. nor the police, and I wouldn't hit them back. A little stern warning sometimes shake people enough, enough, so they can... <laughs> wow, well, yeah. you, can, you can see the background where you, you're coming from, mm. a disciplinarian who uh, believes in, in talk as yeah, opposed to... Yeah, I mean, there are some people who could hit you. I mean, yeah. it depends on the relationship you have with the person mm -hmm. and the nature of the hit. Yeah, but otherwise, some people just get a little, and then you have to kind of, yeah, put them back. Okay. Yeah. Well, fair enough. I, so I can tomorrow, actually see. Tomorrow, I may have some people to report. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. We'll put some, we'll put a, some list of names of possible people who mm -hmm. who might be wanting to retaliate on that remark. Mm -hmm. But um, as we go to the break, um, I'd like to our viewers to tell me something. Would you like some Ferrans ice cream? Any flavor of your choice. We're going to pick two winners tonight. So here's your question. Name two of the ice creams mentioned tonight and tell us the company, the name of the company that produces that ice cream. Okay? So to win some Ferrans ice cream, just give us two of the flavors that we mentioned tonight and also tell us who are the producers of that ice cream. Now also, if you'd like to win a month of Latin dance class for salsa, bachata, merengue, and cha-cha from Expose St. Lucia Latin Dance Studio, tell us in which studio in Rodney Bay does Expose St. Lucia hold its classes. We've returned this one because a lot of people actually wanted to go to the classes and they wanted it free. No surprises there. Okay, now, if you'd like a token of appreciation from DFL, 
we'd like you to name three DFL sponsors and one must be a car rental company. So you don't know what you're going to win. You're going to win something nice, courtesy of DFL, and you need to tell us three of our sponsors, but one of them has to be a car rental company. Don't forget, you can find the questions on DeloreFactorLive.com and Facebook, Delore Factor Live TV show. When we come back, we're going to talk about myths and superstitions. And I know you're going to be just engaged. So stay with us on DBS and Delore Factor Live. We'll be right back.